This is the truck we'll be working on today, a 2010 Toyota Tundra that has unfortunately hit a deer. Here are the parts that came with my kit. We have the winch plate, the main bumper in each wing. Also some brackets and some hardware, shackles, and four LED lights were in the package as well. My next step or first step is to mount my winch to the winch tray. I'm lucky enough to have this hand operated forklift, which is going to help greatly. You may need to have a, another man or two. So I will go ahead and mount my winch. This may or may not apply to your situation. Okay, so my winch is now mounted to my winch plate. One nice feature about this is there are, if you can see them, multiple holes for different winch setups. So you don't have to worry. As you know, this bumper comes with no instructions, so I am going to loose fit some brackets. They may need to come off as I progress, but I just like to see where everything goes. These brackets accept the winch plate uh, to the bumper, and they only fit one way. So I'm going to loose fit them like this. They have room for adjustment, which we will most likely do later. The hardware kit contains two length bolts. This bracket, I would recommend using the shorter length bolt. So I did a dry fit of the center bumper piece to the winch plate, which you can see here. Uh, it involved this bracket and this bracket. I put them flush with the winch plate, set this uh, bumper on, check for any loose jiggles from side to side and check my gaps around. Then I crank down these brackets. I'll remove this outer bumper, hook the winch plate to the car, then attach this bumper to that. Our first step is to remove the bumper and the plastic pieces, splash guards, skid plate, etc. With all these bolts and clips, just start pulling and eventually you'll get them off. And after that, we will go for these three bolts and there's one bolt more on the other side, which hold on the bumper. Here we are with the bumper removed. Basically you have to get these four bolts and these four bolts off the nuts that is. Doesn't matter how you do it. Once you do that, you're sitting pretty. When you remove the factory bumper, be sure to save the eight bolts far on each side as they will be reused. After we remove the bumper and save the bolts, we need to remove this plate with all these 10 mils along the top edge. This will allow your bumper and winch to slide right into space. You also need to remove this piece at least I did to get my winch under under here and I'm going to have to torch off that piece with my plasma cutter because it hits the top of my winch. It may not hit yours, but it does hit mine. We have now installed the winch plate and used the factory four bolts on either side. Everything's cleared. We mounted these brackets earlier. They are now gonna accept the bumper that 
my partner and I are going to install. This L-shaped bracket fits up and behind the bumper and supplies the bolts for mounting your bumper. You have to work it in there a little bit, but once it's in there, screw your washers and lock washer on and crank them down and your bumper's on. The balance pieces will still attach here and here. We now have one wing on. There's a big gap, but that will disappear when we tighten up the bolts on the inside. The sun is fighting me a little bit, but when you are doing your final fit, there's, if there's a little gap by the fenders, you can do these three bolts and it, it'll pivot the bumper to fit properly. And that should be your last step. Here's the finished product. Looks pretty awesome. Can't wait to use it. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching.